Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zips, and welcome back to Wild Trust. I am back from things from visiting family from visiting family during Thanksgiving. Uh, this is the day. Well, actually, this is the day after I got back. I got back on Friday. Yeah, I got back on Friday. You're gonna be seeing this video on Sunday. Yeah, currently, which makes today Saturday. Oh uh, yeah, I have not played Wild Frost in like a week. So, well, it has some bit. It's been like a little bit less than a week. Like a, a bit less than a week. So let's hope I'm not I'm not washed. If you guys are excited for some more Wild Frost, make sure to like and or comment and or subscribe. So what I've also been doing. Over the break, while I was at, like, while I was in Houston visiting family, I was basically just, like, constantly just, when I wasn't, like, helping with Thanksgiving, when I wasn't helping with Thanksgiving dinner or, or talking with family members, I was mainly just, like, playing Cobalt Core and watching Criminal Minds. So, okay, what if I do this for today's name? Also, what am I picking here? This is pretty decent clay for... You know, get this with a little gossies. It's pretty nice. New stone is an is interesting, quite interesting, especially for this client. If you can, if we can find like a foxy, this be really good, because we could combo with this with this with little gossie. Be a good little bit of attack. Eh, I don't think it's unnecessary. I think I'm just gonna play this. This is a good damage dealer. Although this unit, okay, this unit does have 15 health, but the damage is very sad. The damage is kind of sad. Four turn counter, four attack on a five turn counter really isn't very much. I'm going to play Clay for I'm going to play the best offensive unit here. Because there's a lot of, unless it's like in the early game, the best defense really is just a good offense. I will call you. So what I want to do for this name is I want to do a combination of Cobalt Core and Criminal Minds. So what if I call you Aaron No, actually let's do Harry Hotch. We'll do Perry Hotch. This is a character. This is a, both a character from, from Criminal Minds and Cobalt Core in one character. Epic. All right. Enough talk. Let's game. We are fighting the dumb penguin people. <laughs> the dumb, damn, damn, damn penguin people poisoning, poisoning the waters of our beautiful land. I'm gonna get a little gauzy here. Oh, no, no, eh. I don't know how I want to play this exactly. I should have used, I should have used Sunburst 2 too. We could be in a bit of danger. I'm gonna play a little gauzy. Yeah, wait, I, I just unlink. I just unsync the turn counters. I'm not playing. Alright, maybe a little bit washed. Sheesh, that's a whore. Oh wow, this is a this is a bad setup, huh? Alright, I think it's time to just say goodbye to the goblin. Cause oh boy buddy now I can't let I cannot let this Waddle Goons attack. <laughs> yeah, freeze that mofo. Freeze this bitch right now. Okay, we're good. And you know what? I'm I'm gonna greet a little bit, mainly because I can. Mainly because there's not much risk in greeting here. Greeting here in this situation is killing the goblin. All right, I will get a I will just have a triple kill here. We're not killing the goblin, even though I said we were going to kill the goblin. Uh, I need to find snow. Okay, I did find the snow. 
We found the snow. There's nothing to be afraid of. Big Bang ain't shit. Big Bang, Big Bang ain't shit. Big Big Bang ain't shit. He's taking 15 damage here. Yeah. I think we would have really. I think we would have struggled a lot more in this fight if it wasn't if it wasn't for a pretty good leader. All right, what are we seeing here? Ooh, Molten Dip or Shell Bow? I think I'll take a Molten Dip. I gotta take it. Just I gotta take the dip. Colonel? Colonel is... Yeah, definitely Colonel, I think. Absolutely. Colonel's great. I love Colonel. I love a good Colonel Sanders. Uh, I don't really love these. I guess we're... It seems like we're playing Yuki today. I need to, I need to redeem myself with Yuki because I I fucked up a Yuki run a bit ago. I threw a Yuki. I like Omega threw a Yuki run a bit ago, so I need to redeem myself. Uh, I think I'm fine with letting my leader tank. Uh, tank this, tank this damage. Mainly because... Alright, there's a... I will kill this Mimic here and let Logazi take two. You get a double kill and you apply two snow to Yuki. This is another thing that just occurred to me. Our leader give... Our leader does, in fact, give some attack to Yuki. This would be a good time to draw a Colonel. Nice. Because now all our all turn counters line up. Okay, I just need to stall a little bit, and we're good. Actually, n no. This turn, I want to hit you. I want to hit this Frostinger with the Scrappy Sword. This brings him down to five. Yeah, this, this guarantees a... All this has guaranteed a 4 kill here, because I hit Frost Stinger with the Scrappy Sword. Colonel gets the kill. Oh, wait. Colonel's taking a lot of damage here, though. Eh, it's actually better to do this. Uh, yeah, I still get the, I still get the multi-kill, and we save a bit of health on Colonel. We, stay, we save health on Colonel. I thought I had to kill this Frost Stinger, too. The first Frost Stinger there, because... Eh, it doesn't. Uh, I thought I had to kill, like, the first Frostinger there in order to, in order to, um, it did, never mind. Hey. Uh. We will snow stick this loser. Get some strength. Alright, we just get, we end the fight here. And in the fight with uh, the whole world ahead of us, um, we 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 trail we're we're trailblazing Americans. We are. All right, this would be a good time to find a foxy because we we do like oh definitely mega mimic mega mimic is excellente here. Uh, I'll take big berry, but I'll put big berry on the sideline. Uh, bot warts? I don't know about warts. Hmm, maybe wart. I don't, may, maybe. It's a maybe. It's a maybe, maybe. Bomb bomb is just very, very safe. But I don't think we really need a safe unit here because we, we're pretty strong right now. So I think I'll put wart on the squad. I think wart is a bit better than Yuki. Give me a crown. What if I... Okay, what if I just... What if I took a... What if I took the discount it? What if I took a half-off Slapcracker? <laughs> well, what if I did? Seems like it'd be kind of cute. We will be giving this to Wart. Wart is a little scary since he does have Demonize. 
I'm gonna save our money. Because I'd only really play... Si oh, wait. It's the... It's the no money bamboozle. This bamboozle, you don't get money. You just get murder. <laughs> no money, only murder. Play a little Gazi here. Alright, glad I saved my money. Oh wow, you are literally... He's already dead. He's already... He's already dead! <laughs> Alrighty, nice. At least I get a triple kill here and then I walk out. What a speedy combat. Thank, I'm very glad I saved my move. I think we definitely should take a Numeling Charm. Because it's real, real good. Hmm. Removal's super good. And a charm is also super nice. Definitely this bottom path, I say. Alright, what's the, what's the charm gods telling me? What are they... How are they saying that I've been behaving recently? They beha they're saying that I've behaved perfectly reasonable. Not too... Not too good of a person. Not too bad of a person. Just completely... Ooh. Snow cake. I can't buy it here. Yeah, I can't buy it here. I think the crown's... Yeah. It's fine. So, I'm wondering what I'm gonna give this Numlin charm to. We really can... I think what I should do... Now that I have Numlin charm... I'm gonna take... Put this on current... Uh, wait, is that actually right? Losing Colonel's effect is a little sad. Maybe I want to put that on Ward instead. Although, eh, Ward missing out on that bit of poison on his first attack is a little sad. Although, it's, it's like, it's the kind of thing where, like, I'm kind of playing Ward for... Uh, I'm going to give this to Parry. I think this, is, I think this goes quite well on Parry. Good health, good attack. Really appreciates the health, really appreciates the attack. Or, okay, actually, no, I'm gonna back out. We're, we're still gonna make the play of putting Raspberry Charm on... Wait, make sure I'm recording. I am recording. Also, I did not buy... That does not let me buy the... So what am I playing here? We got three crowns that we can do what we want with. I think I'm playing... Colonel? I think I will do this. I think I am gonna do this. I think Colonel's effect is more... Is more important than... Than... Uh, Wart's effect. And also I'm gonna put this on Molten Dip. Alright, this seems like an okay setup. Perfectly reasonable. Spice Mokos. We should do we should do fairly well in the Spice Mokos, I I wager. Everybody's got some nice attacking stats. They definitely want to play a little Gazi this turn. Everybody's turn counter is lined up and ready to go. Um, somebody's gonna lose some attack. I'm gonna hit this Grog here. Oh, wait, it's minus two. Ugh, that's annoying. Alright, I'll let Colonel lose the attack. Actually, no, I'll let little, little Gazi lose the attack. Little Gazi, yeah, this is fine. We do just lose a very, a very sad amount of attack there. Uh, that is not a fun Makoko, if I'm being honest. I don't like it. Right, let's see, wait, I want to see, can Ward hit this Goblin and take it out? I, I, I would love it if he did. And he did. Oh, oh boy, boy, how did he now did he do it? 
I'm gonna. I actually want to see. Okay, I'm gonna redraw here because yeah, I want a snow stick. What I think I'm gonna do here is first up do this. Yeah, no, this is. Ah, wait, I missed one hit on the Moko head. Whoops. Yeah, I wanted to save Ward for, but I okay, I wanted to save Ward for this phase. Who freezes this Makoko? Uh, I do have to be a bit careful about this Pepper Witch, because this Pepper Witch could be a bit problematic. Makoko is dead. So you don't have to worry about him anymore. He can hurt you. Then I think we just... Uh, do I freeze Pepper Witch or do I freeze King Moko? I think I'm going to freeze King Moko. Also counts as us as getting a couple hits against King Moko. Yeah, definitely better to hit King Moko here. Because you just kill you just kill the loser and there's very little, little he he just can't do it. He's just dead. Cruising and grooving we are. Oh mm, I hmm Mimic Hmm Mimic is actually like pretty strong. Mimic is a qu is quite a bit of damage. Hmm, it's interesting. But do I take the crown off Colonel? I think I do. I think I am gonna do this. Colonel is. Oh wait, not into this combat though. It's bad into this combat, but it's better for the. F it's good for the future. Ooh, wait. You know what I want to do here? Yeah, I think I know what I want to do here. I'm going to Noomlin Snow Stick. We're going to Noomlin Snow Stick, and then we're going to duplicate Snow Stick. That seems super strong. Two Noomlin Snow Sticks? It's not fair. Ooh, speaking of not fair. <laughs> That's a kick charm. That's a kick charm, boy. That's a kick charm. Definitely. Absolutely. freaking lootly. That's lovely. What's not lovely is the setup. Yikes. Ooh. Oh boy, that's a yikes. Hey, right, freeze you. I think I just immediately redraw. Yeah, we I redraw I redrew here for flame water. We're gonna flame water our leader. So we're one shotting you. We're one shotting Uh oh wait, Wart will die. I need to recall Wart here. I, we don't need Wart to win this fight. We need our leader is what's gonna win us this fight. Our leader and his and his big damage and his and her big damage swing. Now the only uh, I'm honestly gonna sacrifice mimic f to save four damage on our leader, so that's really good. We hit and ex oh, God, that's awful. Actually, that's a oh, yikes. That's a bad papa. That's a mean papa right there. I should just redraw. I should just freeze this goblin twice. Oh my god. Two Noomlin snow sticks is just not fair. So, it's time to try to generate some. Okay. I'm, just, I'm literally just going to keep hitting the goblin because that's like the safest play I have. Okay. We hit this. Oh, uh, I might lose a little Gazi here. I don't. Good. And we get a triple kill. I do not lose littlest Gazi. I was gonna immediately slam this. The great amazing thing about this, we do not have to worry about Perry Hotch hitting hitting Maja because of the amazing plus the am because because of the amazingness of plus one snow. Legitimately, like, oop, I need to turn off Discord pings. 
Get out, Reese. Give it to you, fan, fan, Phantom Tax Sigma Ohio. Is what I, is the first thing I've read when, when looking into Discord. Mute server for one hour, please. Please. Alright, this fight, not a drop in the bucket. That's, I, that's a saying I just, that's that's something I, lit, I just made up. Scrappy sword, bam. Bam. I do like money, money is quite cool. Money, I like it. Pootie, uh, uh, I'm gonna take Pootie, and we'll see. I'm gonna put Pootie on the sideline, cause maybe there's a way I can play Pootie. What's this vase here? That's fine. Definitely want to take a vase. And, uh, um. So Dragon Pepper is a bit of damage. I don't think I need it. Moose Charm. I don't actually hate putting it on Wart. I do actually kind of hate putting it on Wart now that I think about it. I do. Yeah, I can't find. I can't figure. I can't think of much we're gonna do with Moose Charm here, unless I maybe find like. No, I was gonna say maybe if we find minus one turn counter, but I wouldn't even want it then. So I think I still want to play the Mimic line. Or I could play the line where I give all the all the stats to Wart and Wart just. Wart just hits hard with the attack with his attack stats. I wish I had a hold up. Try gather up. What are all the crowns I have? God, I thought I had more crowns than this. Where'd they all go? Oh yeah, I had one on Molten Dip. Okay, I'm gonna take it off there. Yeah, we don't actually need it on Molten Dip because I want to play Mimic here. We get Mimic out, and then we put. And then we throw this on Lumen Vase, I think. No, I, actually, I think I'm going to put... Even though this does lose us a bit of money when we lo Lumen Vase it, I'm, I think having making this flexible... making Yeah, making Flame Water flexible... Or, no, no the idea is... We're pretty much always going to want to have... Flame Water Crown, but we might there might be a combat where we don't want to crown Lumen Vase, so we want to so leaving Lumen Vase flexible is good. Uh, I hate you, Pop Shroom. I hate you. I don't like you. You smell. You fart smell. -a. And now. All our damage here is in Mimic. It all points to Mimic. Get Woodhead here. We need Woodhead here for when. Alright, I'm gonna use this on Parry Hot. Try to hit. Yeah, hit you with a little bit of snow. Because you're gonna split here. Yeah, that was good. That was real good. Now both of you... Okay, we are abs We are fucking destroying this fight. Fight doesn't stand a chance. It's good to use this here. Because it's just basically a free kill. Get whacked. Get whacked. Oh man. Oh, nice money. Hella good money. Hella good money gain there. Uh, Mega Mimic, you can take this. Mega Mimic. Uh, be the bodyguard we needed you to be. Alright, in case something goes wrong in this run, I don't think I'm getting... Eh, that, I probably... I probably... There's a chance I see a cool charm here, like a... 
like a gnome charm or hell or god forbid i see like barrage charm here and then this run it's just busted because then because mimic just like kills all just scorches the earth whenever he attacks oh those are all right i was saying gnome charm i was saying gnome charm and boy i think i'm gonna and and boy i definitely think i'm taking gnome charm we're slapping that right on the mimic and I think I'm gonna actually take Sunbell of Health here because our leader is gonna be sitting in the front in final fight and generally is gonna be and is gonna be doing that quite a bit. So our leader being tanky is gonna be very important. But ooh, this Mega Mimic is taking off. Uh I actually really, really, okay, I actually really like the idea of Smackback Charm here. Slapping that on Parry Hotch, because it bas it means little Mimic attacks, Mimic will be attacking more. Also, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm going, I'm going full, we're going full Mimic Murders Everything mode. This is great because Parry Hotch can hit. Even if Perry Hotch were to hit something with Smackback, like a uh, oh well, this fights hogs. We we eat we eat hog or you know this fights crabs and we eat crabs alive. <laughs> yeah, we mm, crabs is not looking good for you. <laughs> it's it's not looking good. Sorry. Get a mimic. Get a mimic. Bam, bam. Murder. I'm calling in the enemies. So we could murder a little bit more. So you can never have too much murder. We'll play, we'll play Mega Mimic here. Ah oh, man, this so that's a that's a that's a that's that's a tad annoying. It's not super annoying. It's just like it's just gonna take a little bit longer to kill you. I really don't think anything could go wrong here. However, however, I need to remember that you can never be too cocky in this game. Because otherwise, the game's just going to explode your penis. So this game's just going to send you to the penis explosion chamber. So you can, you can never be, like, you can never be too cocky in this game. Especially against a dumb skull who can kill Mimic. You can kill both Mimic and Wart if given the chance. Now we, the goal we just have to never give him that chance. <laughs> we'll let Perry Hotch take this attack. Also, let's Uh well this actually might be a little annoying if Yeah, if that happens. Alright. Thankfully we should just be able to kill you very fast. Hit Wart with this. Is not is Numskull even gonna be able to attack? Hmm, curious. Quite strange. Quite a strange twist of fate for the old num for old Numskull there. Bludgeoned to death by Mimic's bloody hammer. Aw man, that's. Womp womp. I could have played that on Mimic, and it would have been a complete complete disaster for the enemies. Womp womp. Oh well. You, you never you never know if you're gonna see it, but it's not something you wanna like bet your whole run on. I I would a gnome charm is still very good. And like trying to hold out and trying to hold I'm just literally gonna put this all on credit on kernel. Trying to hold out if to see pomegranate charm. So playing this game, one of the biggest things I've learned is that you cannot 
especially in this new update, you really just can't be greedy with your charms. You once you get a charm, you have you should really just put it on a unit if it's good on them. You don't just want to like hold out to like oh maybe oh it'd be really putting this charm on on this unit would be good, but it'd be like an uh, insanely good if I also found like chuckle charms so I could keep putting charms on them. You don't want to do that. Because then you're just going to die early. Anyway, this was my TED Talk. Hope you hope to see you again next week. Mega Mimic is basically a... God, I, I love this unit. I love you, Mega Mimic. Your Mega Mimic's basically just... Even though, like... Mega Mimic's basically just like a, a tank this... Run. Damn. Enemy's already here. What the hell? Uh, Colonel takes a lot of damage here, but I don't really think it's worth trying to stop. Oh, wait, shit. Uh, huh, that's kind of awkward, actually. Hmm, curious. Oh my god. That's, but yeah, that's, that's kind of awkward, actually. I think I know what I should do. I think I know what I need to do. Uh, I'm gonna freeze Frost Guardian. He's the bear. Yeah, it's kind of awkward on Final Fight because I really wanted to put Colonel in in the right. Ah, unfortunate. I. Hmm. <laughs> Shikes. Uh, little Gazi, I think we're gonna have to say si bye to you. Wow, I. Huh. So, thankfully, my leader can survive this two damage. Yeah, I have to say goodbye to little Gazi. Oh, god damn it. And I was frozen, so. Oh, god, wait, this is. How did this all go so wrong? What the fuck happened? Okay, no, I'm ch I'm fine. I'm 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 fine. Cause, no, I I'm de I'm so fine. I'm fine. We're definitely fine. Okay, good. We got our good new one. That could have. What I said. You can't. You can't get too cocky in this game. You can't get too cocky. Let's take a little Gazi out the squad. I also think. I'm going to take Colonel off the squad. And what I'm going to do with this extra crown, we're going to put it on Mega Mimic. Mega, We're going to put Mega Mimic. The idea here is we go into the so We're going to end this fight. We're going to put... Oh, wow. This is really bad. Yikes. This is really, really bad, actually. I think I need... I, I really need to keep this in mind. The fact that you have Barrage. Okay, we're not out of the... Not out of the woods just yet. We're gonna hit Frost Crusher. Gonna hit Frost Crusher again. So you're getting hit. You're gonna hit Perry Hotch, which is what we want. Because Perry Hotch is gonna smack back and then let Mi Meg... And let then let Mimic... Oh, so I need to take screenshots. Nice. Uh. Am I doing? I, I, I'm, I'm thinking if I want to take a screenshot of here, Perry Hot here. Uh. Yeah, why not? Why not? Do I want to play? I think I want to do this. I think it's fine. It is a little scary on Frost. All right, you hit you. Nice, Frost Junker's dead. It was very worth it. 
I think I'm, gonna, I'm just to make sure Frost Muncher can't attack. Because Frost Muncher does scare. Oh, God. You're adding junk to my deck? That's just mean. Alrighty. Frost Jailer dies very fast here. I'm gonna get rid of this dead weight. Get blasted. Nice. We Sunrod here. Alright, I should be, I th I should be out of this. Mega Mimic did its j j job wonderfully of just like di redirecting the attacks of Frost Bomber here. A plus A plus ranking A plus rank from me. Yeah, we win. Goodbye. Oh, hey, look, Wart got the final kill there. Good job, Wart. Hey, nice, uh, easy dub. Little's tad scary at some points there, but overall, extremely smooth run. Extremely smooth sailing. Hell yeah, buddy. Let's see here. Blames from comp. Damage dealt 1,592. That's quite a bit of damage, some would say. Alright, I want to look at what we're playing next time. Uh, interesting. Not very good on the surface. Hmm, interesting. We'll see. We'll... So, yeah, all these units have five turn counters and low stats. I'll, I'll save that for next time. I'll save my thoughts on those leaders for next time. But anyway, that's going to do for this episode of Wild Trust. If you go, guys... If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to like and or comment and or subscribe. Make sure to share this video with your best friend or greatest of or greatest enemy, and I'll catch you guys later.